In this video, you're going to learn how to manage your golden retriever shedding. Yes, golden retrievers do shed, and yes, it will get all over your floors, all over your furniture, all over your clothes, and potentially even in your food. But I'm going to show you 14 ways to reduce the amount of fur everywhere while still having a happy, healthy golden retriever. Alright, what's up golden lovers? I'm Jake, welcome to Golden Hearts, where we cover all things golden retrievers. Today, we're going to be talking about goldens and their infamous shedding. If you currently have a golden retriever, you're going to learn some tips to make it a little bit more manageable. And if you're thinking about getting a golden retriever, I hope that these tips can encourage you and let you know that even though, yes, they do shed, it's really not that bad. But before we talk about how to manage your golden retriever shedding, it's important to understand their coat, understand the importance of it, and know why they shed in the first place. Although their fur is beautiful and soft and really nice to pet, there's actually a lot more to it. Golden Retrievers have a double coat, and that's made of a soft, fluffy undercoat and a long, smooth outer coat. The undercoat protects them from both extremely hot and extremely cold temperatures, and the outer coat is waterproof and it protects them from dirt and debris. All mammals, including humans, shed their fur or hair to some degree, so it's totally natural. And Goldens shed year-round, but in the spring and the fall is when they blow their coat. This means that at these times they're going to shed a lot, and these are the times when you're most likely to find those furry little tumbleweeds in the house. Now the good thing about golden retriever fur is that it's relatively easy to clean. It's soft and often clumps together, so whether you're wiping it off the floor or off your clothes, it's likely to come together in little piles that resemble furry dust bunnies. Other dogs that have shorter wiry coats are much more difficult to clean up after. And speaking of other dogs, nearly all dogs shed, so if you're thinking about getting a golden retriever, don't let shedding be the factor that stops you from getting one. The following tips will show you how to manage the excessive golden retriever shedding. They range from dog cleaning tips to house cleaning tips and everything in between. Not all tips will work for you, but hopefully you'll find a few that do. But before we get to them, here's a quick reminder to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with the best golden retriever videos on YouTube. All right, let's kick it off with tip number one. Brush your golden retriever daily. The best way to keep shedding to a minimum is to brush your golden retriever daily. This gets the dead fur off of your dog and onto the brush instead of off of your dog and onto the floor. I brush my golden Oliver outside in the yard so that any extra fur that does come off them that doesn't make it to the brush goes in the yard instead of in the house. I'll link the brush that we use down in the description. Tip number two, after you brush them, rub them down. This is something that I recently started doing and it's amazing for keeping fur out of the house. After you brush your dog, there's probably gonna be a lot of extra fur that's just stuck to them. When I would take Oliver inside, he would shake them off and I could see the fur that I just brushed going into the air and then down onto the floor. Instead, now I rub him down after I brush him, and that gets all that extra fur off of him and into the yard. Tip number three, bathe them regularly. Running water and running your fingers through their fur gets even more dead fur off of their coat and down the drain, instead of off of their coat and onto your floors. Plus, it keeps their coat clean. However, here are two warnings when it comes to bathing your golden. Be sure to rinse them properly. They have a lot of fur, so it's easy for soap to get stuck in there without getting rinsed out, and that can damage their skin. Also, be sure to dry them off properly. Golden Retrievers are susceptible to hot spots, and sometimes that can be caused by moisture being trapped in their fur. As far as how often to bathe them, that will depend on things like, are they running around on turf and asphalt, or are they running around in the dirt? Are they playing with a lot of dogs and getting dirt and slobber all over them? Are they swimming a lot? And also their general health. Another important tip to manage Golden Retriever shedding that has a lot to do with bathing them is the shampoo. Tip number four, use a quality dog shampoo. Using human shampoo or using a dog shampoo with cheap ingredients or too many chemicals can mess up your dog's skin. This could dry out their skin and leave it flaky, or even worse, it could expose them to parasites and bacteria and viruses. Make sure to use a shampoo that is especially made for dogs when bathing your golden. I'll put a link in the description below for the shampoo that we use for Oliver. Tip number five, take them first one. Like I said in tip number three, water can get a little bit of extra dead fur from their coat that combs and brushes just can't. And just like when giving them a bath, when they're done, make sure to dry them off properly to keep their skin healthy. Tip number six, take them to a professional groomer. In addition to brushing your golden daily, you can also take them to a professional groomer. They can help trim your golden retriever appropriately and can give them a good brush and bath, not to mention taking care of their paws, their nails, and much more. However, be very careful about taking your golden retriever to a groomer. I've heard some horror stories about goldens getting bad haircuts. But before we get into tip number seven, I have to ask, do you think the tips that we've covered so far can help you manage your golden retriever shedding? If so, write, I love brushing my golden in the comments below. All right, now let's keep this train moving. Tip number seven, feed them a quality dog food. 
High quality food can help keep your golden skin and fur healthy. Healthy skin and fur can shed at a normal rate, while unhealthy skin and fur can often shed a little bit extra. Although high quality dog food may be a little more expensive up front, you'll save money in the long run on vet bills. Plus, you'll have a happy and healthy dog. Tip number eight, watch your golden retriever for allergies. Food or environmental allergies can cause rashes, itchiness, and excessive shedding. If you notice any of these issues, talk to your veterinarian about possible issues and possible solutions. Tip number nine, watch your dog for infestations. According to PetMD, infestations like fleas, ticks, or other parasites can cause skin issues like rashes, itchiness, or even excessive shedding. Your dog should be on medications to prevent these infestations, but make sure to talk to your vet if you think it's a problem. Tip number 10, keep a lint roller on hand. There's no getting around it. Beautiful, soft, golden fluff is going to get on everything. My wife keeps a lint roller on hand and she rolls both of us down whenever we're going someplace nice. Tip number 11, vacuum the house, often. No matter how often you brush, bathe, or swim with your golden, fur is going to get in your house. Many golden retriever owners have the one-two punch of a Roomba and a cordless Dyson. In our house, we vacuum once or twice a week with this Bissell pet hair vacuum. Tip number 12, never shave your golden retriever. Shaving or cutting your golden retriever's hair really short is a huge no-no. Earlier, we talked about the importance of your double coat and shaving it or cutting it really close robs them of this natural protection. Some people think that they're doing their dogs a favor by shaving them or cutting their hair really short in the summer months, but they're actually doing them a disservice. Golden retriever's undercoats protect them from both warm temperatures and cold temperatures, so never cut it too short or shave your golden. Tip number 13. Don't use pills or sprays that promise to decrease shedding. Many of these products contain chemicals that could be harmful for your pup. Instead, choose one of the tips above that we just talked about to help manage your golden shedding. And here's the best tip of them all. Tip number 14, just get used to it. Having fur everywhere is just part of life for golden retriever owners. Extreme shedding is a measly price to pay for that soft, beautiful, golden, fluffy coat that you get to snuggle with and pet every day. If you're ever frustrated at the layer of hair that's covering everything that you own, give your golden a big hug, bare your face in her neck, and remember how lucky you are that one of these beautiful animals graces your home. Which of these tips will you try? Do you have any other tips that I missed for controlling your golden retriever shedding? If so, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like so that other people can see it. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with the best golden retriever videos on YouTube. Now we just talked about how to manage your golden retriever shedding. But if you have a golden retriever at home, or if you're about to get a golden retriever, you've got to get them the right toys. Having the right toys can help with training, can help with stopping destructive behaviors, and can even help build a bond between you and your puppy. Check out this video for the five best toys that you have to get your golden retriever puppy and how to use them for training. All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching. And remember, never take your golden retriever for granted and always check your poop bags for holes.